I'm Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we are looking at a piece of our lab on how to make your mass spectrometer to carbon date your chicken. So in real life, mass spectrometers are what we use to find the difference between the ratio of carbon-14, which are heavier, and carbon-12, which are a little lighter. And the way that it works is it sort of accelerates these particles in what's called an electric field because they have little charges, positive and negative charges, and then we turn them in something called a magnetic field. Now those charges, if it's really heavy, it takes longer for it to turn, so it's gonna go further, and if it's really light, it's gonna go closer. Now we don't have an electric field or a magnetic field with us today. What we're going to do, though, is very, very similar. So I'm gonna use gravity to accelerate my carbon-14 and carbon-12 pennies and nickels. So all I have is a block wedge, and then I use this to help sort of roll them down this block wedge. So like once I do that, I can just drop them in and they come out rolling really nicely. Now when you do this, you want to make sure that you're not starting one here and it's going really slow and then the next one's way up here. So try to have a very specific start point. You're always going to start from the same area. You can tape these down if you want to. It makes it a little bit easier. Now, so now I've got my force that sort of accelerates them, gravity, and I've got that, but now I need something to push them sideways. And for that, we use a hair dryer. So in theory, you'd have a sort of a wall right here, or sort of a stop, like some sort of backdrop where you can stop everything. And what's going to happen when I turn my hair dryer on is the nickel, which is really heavy and it takes a little longer to turn, is going to come down my ramp, and it's going to go nice and straight until it hits the, ha the hair dryer, which is going to then blow it and it's going to come over to somewhere like this. Now the lighter penny is going to come down the same ramp with the same acceleration and it's going to hit the blow dryer and that's going to turn a little bit faster and it's going to end up somewhere right about here. Now you'll have an entire bag. We use a whole bag. You can just, a bag of pennies and some nickels thrown in and you can roll these all down. It's really fun to see them stack up in sort of the right spots where they group themselves and they separate themselves together. Then you will count how many nickels you have, you'll count how many pennies you have, and you'll take the ratio. So you'll take your number of nickels and divide it by your number of pennies to get a ratio. And that's what you're going to use on the next page of that lab to look at the graph of the carbon dating and find out its age. So again, we're just putting us the same force on both the nickel and the penny. And since the nickel's heavier, the hair dryer, the force that that hair dryer provides, it just takes a little longer to turn it. Whereas the penny, since it's lighter, turns much faster, so you get them separated, just like carbon-12 and carbon-14 are going to separate in a mass spectrometer using the same principles as this. So this is a really fun way to bring physics into your home and do it with kids. My two-year-old absolutely loves doing this. My six-year-old loves doing it after she got back from some fun activities. And they did it. They kept asking to do it again and again. And part of the reason is it's just so surprising, you know. And after you do the pennies and the nickels, you can look at things like quarters, which have a really big area. So even though they're heavy, they have a really big area, so the force on the blow dryer is bigger. It's going to turn them faster than you would think. You could use something light, like those little plastic coins that have the metal around the edge that sometimes you use with magnets to pick up. Those are really fun because they're so light that the force of the hair dryer just pushes them instantly straight against that wall. Um, we got some foreign coins that worked really well, so some of them were very small but very heavy. You can also, if you really want to look at how mass plays a role in it, you could even tape two nickels together so that they're just, it's like one, it looks like one nickel like this, but it's just too thick, and that will change the weight, but it won't change how much the air dryer um, hits your nickel, so you can get a good sort of idea of how mass plays a role in that. So we hope that you guys have a great time with our lab this month. We are doing a lot of stuff with mummies and osmosis and carbon dating, and it's a great lab for everybody to do. Moms and dads, you got to roll up your sleeves this time. Um, this is part of the lab. If you need to get your lab book, you can absolutely do that at rosyresearch.com shop. Or you can get all of our labs delivered to your inbox as they come out through patreon.com slash rosyresearch. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all of our fun activities and helper videos as they come out.